My husband and I need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's to pick up some more of these brick pavers because we want to create um, and define the garden bed a little bit more. I think this looks really, really good and um, we don't have enough bricks. So we're gonna go to Home Depot and check out the bricks. But also with that, I want to look and see what they have available because I do want to add some more spring flowering shrubs in the garden. And right now things are just looking really beautiful because the uh, tulips that I planted in the fall are now starting to bloom and show up. The daffodils came up earlier, but now the tulips are about to open in my garden. And the summer hydrangeas. And they have roses too. Twelve ninety nine. Hmm. Bear root rose. This is a grandiflora, Queen Elizabeth. Yes, I love that. Um, that would actually be good for me to get and it will replace the Queen Elizabeth that um, died out, but it's kind of, I'm not sure. Well, this is what Lowe's looks like, their garden center. We're gonna go to Home Depot and see what they have. So, goodbye to Lowe's. But it's good to see the activity. For all you seed lovers, this is seed. I still have seeds here. At most. I am here at Home Depot, the first for the year, and they have all of these different um, trees out, budding trees, and it's just amazing to see them. 
blooming and so forth, all of the shrubs. They even have pear trees, espaliered pear tree here. Apple trees. Some are even budding out already. This must be a Macintosh, I think. Let's see. No, Granny Smith. Pretty. And they're just starting to put the shrubs and things together. And we have here the vegetables and the herbs. Rose bushes, the bare root rose bush, and blueberries, strawberries. Oh, I might just pick up some strawberries. Four ninety nine. It's four ninety nine a pot, though. <laughs> We have the different shrubs. It's really nice. It's the different shrubs and things. We see some life here happening at Home Depot. There are the peonies. And other shrubs. It's definitely the beginning of the season. Check out this tree. It's so different. It's a Japanese umbrella pine. Wow, that is so cute. Look at these others. 25 blood good Japanese maple. Mm. Wow, this is so pretty. Look at the annuals. It smells so nice for some reason. I just, I think it's these carnations. They really have a nice smell. These pink kisses. Johnny jump ups. They even have some impatience here. Look at the selection of pots. Wow, this is gorgeous. Is this concrete? No, this is egg dart, Bloombus urn. This is different. Definitely different. A different material. Mm -hmm. It's plastic. I like that. And then these big pots here. This is plastic. Wow, it looks so real. here I want to do the same thing or similar thing I'm thinking of adding some more bricks but in the meantime take a look at my red tulips so the daffodils are fading but the tulips will be coming in and I just love the red in the garden because it really contrasts from the yellow so we know that the it's a different time a different season 
or seasonal time because of the red tulips here in the garden. So we really need to just define this bed a little bit more too. And that's why we're going to Home Depot and to Lowe's. So come with me as we go on our little field trip to Home Depot. Creating the border for the bed just makes it so much easier to keep things a little bit more tidy. And I just kind of like this because now we know that we're not going to continue to dig into the bed here. It just makes everything a little bit more neater. <laughs> 